All right, welcome back. Today, is CPU mining profitable? Uh, we are at May 29, 2024. I have had the rigs off for, uh, my God, I don't know, quite a bit now. Because on um, NiceHash, CPU mining, profitability was just not worth, was not worth the effort. The juice, you know the saying, the juice was not worth the squeeze. Um, what do I mean? I mean, you want to get a buck or so. You want to make some money after electricity cost unless you just want to stack satoshis which is another i don't know another debate i guess I, you got to think about it that way what is your goal you can keep running your rigs they may not be profitable but you are still stacking the satoshis on nice hash uh side note i was mining zerg pull for a bit trying to get to that payout of i forget what it was 0.005 Bitcoin to get paid up. They go ahead and they up the minimum payout. And I'm like, wait a minute. It's like they moved the goalposts. It irked me. I'm never using ZergPole again. I'm sticking with NiceHash. They proved to be a professional outfit. They, uh, you, can, you can get paid on time when you take your withdrawal. Uh, the dashboard is awesome. It's just total transparency. You know what's going on with your rigs. The uh, monitoring and dashboard are perfect. A nice hatch for the win, right? The only downside is you don't get to pick. The, um, well, I don't know. You can't go like mine Raptorium and that crap, but who cares, right? Uh, I, I'm just gonna mine on nice hash and go with that. So question of the day is uh, mining, CPU mining profitable right now. Uh, let's go check on the nice hash profitability calculator, as you can see right here with the circle of truth, the green. I'm not going to do auto detection because I'm remoted into another machine. So let's go and pick device, uh, manual selection, enter hardware manually. Oh my gosh, let's go over here. Oh, we can do electricity costs. If you want to be totally honest, put in your electricity costs. But Crypto Jim, where do I get this? Go to your electric statement or run to your mommy and daddy and they'll, they'll hopefully know what it is. Uh, mine is 11 cents per kilowatt hour in the heyday when the fake natural gas price was uh, the cause of increased electricity costs, which when uh, the uh, kilowatt hour usage uh, went up to like 19 Sets. It was ridiculous, like a 70% increase. Uh, yeah. Again, the way this world works, and it's no surprise, money runs the world, right? You have money in your pocket. Others are trying to get that money out of your pocket and put it in their pocket. Rinse and repeat. All right, so I'm 11 cents, right? So let's go look at my device. I have the older devices because I'm cheap. I don't see the need or I don't want to go waste money on hardware. And again, I want to kind of make money too, but, um, and maybe stack Satoshi. So I'm kind of like, eh, I'm, what did they call it? Du the duality, the duality of crypto mining. Do you want to make profit short term or do you just want to stack Satoshi's? So you got to, I don't know. I'm, I'm on and off and all that crap. But uh, let's go see here. Let's go Ryzen 9 again. Yeah, I don't want to go buy these things and be in the debt thousands of bucks, uh, knowing that I'm going to get, only a couple Satoshis, even if it goes to the moon, will I even recover that money? I don't know. You got to you gotta do what's best for you. Uh, right now, they're sitting here. The Borg CPU rack is right next to me, all nice and quiet, except for old rig number seven that's doing its best right now. All right. Let's see. Ryzen. CPU Ryzen 9 3900X. There she is. Uh, hit calculate. What? Oh, dear God. All right, that's the worst I've ever seen it. One cent a day. So you're getting 29 cents mining with this rig setup. You guys may have thread rippers, um, newest, latest, greatest AMD CPUs. You're maybe making five cents a day, 20 cents a day. It's not good, folks. It is not good. And then look, electricity costs, which is which is what I like that they put on the calculator. It gives you a warm fuzzy. If you're being totally honest with yourself, you put in your electricity costs. 
and it shows you the truth, which is painful. The truth hurts. Yeah, look at a prophet. Oh my God. That all right, that's pretty bad. That's bleak. So here we go. We're done with this page. Let's go look at Oh my god, let's go. I'm really bummed out. Let's go look at the CPU running. Oh my god, where is it? Oh, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Boom. All right, this is my Windows box. For the uh, new kitties I've joined and I've never seen this crap before, I'm running on a Windows 10 rig. I have a bunch of rigs. This is just one I turned on. I'm running Ryzen 9 3900X CPUs from the heyday of the GPU mining days on Ethereum. I bought some um, Ryzen's just to play with because they're more quiet. They use a little less electricity and they're just easier to handle noise and all that crap. So here we have NiceHash running, NiceHash Miner running on my Windows box. Uh, here is the output. It's running XM rig. Uh, pro tip. The uh, miners you set up on NiceHash go to a certain version. What I did, uh, I went out to the repository, GitHub or whatever, where XMRig is, their, uh, you know, their official site, and I downloaded the latest one. And there is a video on this. Go do a search on XMRig in my videos. I'll show you how I did it. You just can't, you download it, right? But you just can't go. Now you got to take the XM rig executable, move it to where NiceHash expects their XM rig version to be and swap it. Boom, restart. What happens is you get the magical latest and greatest that you downloaded. It was way behind too. NiceHash kind of stopped it. An earlier version, you would get the MSR header mod error and all that crap popping up. And uh, the only way around that is to upgrade XM rig or whichever uh, what am I saying? Whichever CPU mining software you're using or have set through this page on um, the nice hash miner. You get a plugins, blammo, boom. You can download the ones you care about and approve them, blah, blah, blah. But uh, then you can run benchmarks and it picks the most efficient based on the algorithm and the coin. The coin and the algorithm, same difference, right? Uh, well, yeah, the coin all, you can have multiple coins, running one algorithm, right? Raptorium has BitTorium, blah, blah, blah. You get it? So multiple coins can run one algorithm. One algorithm has multiple coins, one the many. All right, so what are we doing? So here we are, we're running, blah, you get it, blah, blah. I like saying blah, 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 because it's the same old BS. And we're running at 27 cents, 27 cents a day, English odd. Uh, and that pretty much maps to what we had on the old Chrome nice hash profit miner, 29 cents. And it so they're even being a little more generous on the nice hash uh, profitability calculator. So I'm probably now min minus one cent profitability. I'm losing money. Oh my God. What did Warren Buffett say? Never lose money. Warren Buffett said that. So it's got, he's got to be right. Do not lose money. All right. And I'm losing money right now running this rig. Uh, let's see. Let's go back. So that's it. I just wanted to show you that. I was just curious. Once a week or so, I'll power this rig up and just to check. Maybe, you know, because people, you don't want to wait. You do not want to wait for others to put out. Oh, my God. Red alert. Start mining. It's through the roof. I just want to keep checking. And I want to be that guy. Oh, I found a little Easter egg. Profitability's up. Nah, I haven't seen it. So I, it might be over. I may... I hate to say this, I may now list my motherboard and Ryzen 9 online and maybe just start selling this stuff off and just buy the derivatives of Bitcoin. Uh, what do I mean by derivatives? Let's segue into that. <laughs> All right, let's get out. So bottom line for me, even stacking Satoshis isn't worth it right now. Losing money on mining, it's just the juice isn't worth the squeeze. I'm going to see if I can now list these. One of these Ryzen 9, 3900, I'm going to do a hybrid. I'm going to say Try and sell just the Ryzen 9 CPU with the uh, super duper cooling fan separate. And then I'm going to put one with the motherboard and the fan and the memory and see what sells. Does it sell as a package deal? I don't know what the hell people want. You just got to try on eBay and uh, go with that. All right. What was, what was I going to do? Oh, let's talk derivatives real quick. What do I mean by that? Let's go to stocks. Stonks. Let's go to stonks. And oh, we're down. I hate when I come to this page because it's like, ah, shock. 
and Bitcoin's down below where I want it to be. I want it to be at 69, 69,000. Wow, so we're down, I don't like this. All right, why is everything down today? Former FTX is a sentence in Bitcoin miner riot pursues takeover, whatever. Okay, oh, we're down. You do 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 do. FBTC is down. So derivatives, you can buy Bitcoin, as I said before. You can buy Bitcoin directly, your keys, your coins, and put it in your hard wallet and have it safe and secure. You can always lose it. The, pro, the pros of that is you, your keys, your coin, you own it. Uh, cons are you got to move it to an exchange to unload it, go to fiat, do whatever you want to it, and get it to your bank account. Lots of hoops to jump through with the potential for errors, putting in the wrong address, even losing your hard storage ledger wallet, water treasure, whatever you're using. So always a con there of losing your Bitcoin, which you hear a lot of and uh, dealing with the exchanges and the fees. So there's a lot of that for the con side. As a derivative, you can buy into the ETF. Pro is it's through your exchange, your investment account or whatever, and you can even buy through a Roth IRA and not worry about the capital gains taxes because all gains are not taxed because you're in a Roth IRA. Beauty, beauty, beauty. I know the government, the government working hard to get that Roth IRA money to take that perk away from you. They don't like it. Uh, yeah, they want to take that money and send it overseas. So we, uh, yeah, it's other people going to have it. Yeah, you don't believe me? Do a Google on that. Ah, having some Java. All right, so FBTC is an ETF. Oh, the con is you can only trade it during trading hours. Con is not your keys, not your coins. Con is there is a little fee, but right now I know with Fidelity, the fee is zero because um, they want to entice people and track people to the ETF. And uh, but one once August comes around, I think there's gonna be a 0.25 percent fee. I can't remember what it was. So I'm watching that. I'm hoping Bitcoin shoots up enough, and maybe I get out of the uh, ETF with enough profit, and not to worry about the fee. That's the plan, but you know how that goes. Uh, other derivatives of Bitcoin. So ETF, we got buying Bitcoin direct. The other thing are, oh, the miner. Where is the miner? Wolf. Oh, wow, Wolf's up. What the heck? In a down market, we have a miner up. What the heck? Wolf is one of the Bitcoin miners. It's uh, optimized to run uh, performant. They have a very good operation. They're not much overhead. They're running efficient. So they're going to do well, and they are right now. This is amazing. It's up this much. Let's do a percentage check. Up 6% so far in a red market, in a sea of red. I like it. All right, that's the third way, through a Bitcoin miner. They usually trail, and they're kind of not directly in, I don't know, one-to-one -one with the Bitcoin price. So you got to watch that sometimes. Bitcoin price is not a leading indicator of Bitcoin miner stock price that there you go that's all you need to know so do with that what you will all right let's go on that's three guys derivatives of bitcoin all right oh my lordy that one's down energy's down now right, you're looking at all my goodies right now let me make sure this is up you are seeing that good it would help if i had the screen up so i make sure you're seeing what i see Oh my God, YouTube hot, YouTube hot. All right. Oh, why is Tesla up? What the heck? Why would Tesla be up? Man, EV market, is, is, it's over. It's over, Johnny. All right, continuing on. Uh, another way to do derivatives. Why did that refresh? Misty, there is a product, a couple. Uh company called Yieldmax MSTR Option Income Strategy ETF. These are one company ETFs, not for the faint of heart high risk. You get a huge McDividend. We're talking like 100% dividend. You know, it's insane, but there's high risk. And what this does is work with, um, this Misty one is tied to Michael Saylor's MicroStrategy company. And through option calls and all that stuff, they have this little McAlgorithm and uh, you don't own or short or anything directly with MicroStrategy. It's just their options on it or something. And uh, you can go to YieldMax and look it up. That's one. The other one is the same concept, but with Coinbase. 
Problem with Coinbase is going to be a lot of competitors with banks, uh, other financial out outlets and that are going to give Coinbase a run for its money. So just watch this one as well. High risk. So those two are Yieldmax. Go look at Yieldmax ETFs. They have a whole matrix on what they offer. Another one off topic is Crash. Goes against Tesla betting it's going to crash. And I don't know why they're both up, which is kind of weird. But Tesla is uh, crash is tied to Tesla, where again, you don't buy or own short or anything Tesla. It's all through options and stuff. Go and read about it. It's good knowledge, maybe a lot of risk and over your head. Uh, uh, too much for most people. But again, not financial advice. If you're listening to any YouTuber, I'm not even a YouTuber. I'm just putting this crap out there. Do not. I'm giving you financial advice is don't listen to any YouTuber. Don't listen to me. Do your own research by that. I mean, listen to people, doubt everything people say, but go verify, go check it. What's this? What's this yield max crap? Okay, go look and say, no, nah, that's a scam. Or no, don't do it. Or that's a good idea. That's up to you. Again, a lot of YouTubers are, there's something wrong with people on who run these YouTube or make lots of money, have millions of subscribers. They're mentally not right. Uh, there's something, they're almost, oh my God, what's the word? They're not to rant. There's, just not the best. I don't know. Just not. You just gotta not trust most of these people on YouTube. I'm just. It's something. It's shifted. The last year or so, it's just got you a lot of uh, eh, ick. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Uh, the latest one is Nick Ricada, that YouTube law domain and all that stuff. He used to cover all the trials, and he's making buku bucks, seven digits. You know, making a million bucks and all super chats and all this crap. Yeah, go look up that. Do a Google on that. A guy just, oh my God, he was alk, druggy, uh, neglecting his kids. Look at the police statement uh, when they bust him drugs. Uh, swinging, too. It's just, what is derangement? I don't know. Deviance. A very deviant lifestyle. And a lot of YouTubers, I think, are like that. Grifton. And again, that's why I say I'm beating a dead horse. Don't listen to anybody on YouTube. You don't know who they are, where they come from. Uh, yeah. I don't know how I can say that enough. Say that enough. But anyway, this is for entertainment. This is to give you make ideas to go do some research yourself, right? Uh, yeah, let's see. So there's Connie. Another one is Bito. B-I-T-O. And this is the ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF. This one has a decent fee on it, though. So I'm going to let you guys, as homework tonight, Go out here, you can click on it, you can do some research, and you can just go to Yahoo Finance. Yahoo's crap in general. I'm amazed they're still around, like AOL. AOL's still around, believe it or not. And um, you can click on it. They do have a good finance page. So let's go see what we got. Dun, 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 dun. And you can come in here, and they got a good little spreadsheet of information on the expense ratio look at that it is a high expense ratio 0.95 that's pretty deep that's pretty high to me uh yield to date total return 56.9 again use aol not aol god yahoo <clears throat> even google and a couple bounce them out look at all the information and uh, judge for yourself but as a reminder in the back of my little human pee monkey brain we are on the precipice of this economy totally collapsing the only reason i think it's going up or still holding not going up but still holding and not crashed is because the uh election which is already determined come on guys we know that we know that we know that the jig the the uh the election's already in the can we know what's going on uh look at george carlin's whole skit all whole routine on the on voting it's just a, it's just a placebo to make it seem like you make a difference so anyway it's being propped up because of this election but it's gonna come down layoffs across companies every domain not just tech real estate uh pharmaceutical uh, not pharmaceutical uh, medical everything is everyone's being cut re retail it's not good uh, usually it's industry like oh oil they're being cut no oh, oh now it's tech no it's everyone so that's part of the problem real estate prices are high even cutting rates is not going to help anything because houses are just too expensive cars are just too expensive cars are piling up on the dealers lots 
I'm not a big dealership fan. I think the model of selling cars is so antiquated and uh, grifty. It's just a scam. I think they just, of anything, do the Tesla model. Here's the car you want. Here's the catalog. Pick it, boom, we deliver it. You know what I mean? Uh, the old way of dealerships has got to go. And uh, yeah, good for them if they all collapse. I don't care. But uh, that's all I got, man. I'm just rambling on about derivatives and uh, CPU mining is not where it's at. And uh, time to offload this stuff before the economy collapses. And maybe I get a couple hundred bucks per CPU and maybe motherboard. Uh, monetize, monetize, monetize. <laughs> get some cash and uh, ride this storm out. I just hope the old Bitcoin goes back up. My hunch, I think it is. I think there's something going on yet. We still got consolidation. And um, I think just, oh, there's something else too. The Mount Gox thing a couple of years ago where they lost all the Bitcoin, they're recovering it and they're going to start paying it out through October to the people that lost their Bitcoin. Look up Mount Gox recovering 150, 140 million. I don't know how many Bitcoin it was, but look at the, the recent Mount Gox story. Uh, yeah, that's kind of... People are afraid it's going to flood the market with Bitcoin. I think people who recover their Bitcoin are going to hold it. 80% of them will probably hold it. Although people are getting it back after years, are going to be, oh my God, I'm up this far. Cash out, right? So that maybe is what right now we're seeing. Oh, does that make sense? With the Bitcoin price. There's just now people are going, oh my God, this Mt. Gox thing just won't go away. These people screwed up a couple of years ago. It's just a mess. But uh, hopefully the guys who get their crypto Bitcoin back, we'll just hold it if they're smart. And uh, then we'll get through the consolidation phase and blammo, you know, get back above 70K and, and higher. I don't know. I just do not know. We will see. But I, in my heart, I think it's going to go up. My heart, my brain. Don't use, do not do stocks and investment with heart. Do with your brain. What makes sense right now? Uh, that's just my guess. What else is going down? I think that's it. I want to talk about anything else. Oh, Exxon, why, why, why? All right, why is everything down? Which is good, you need to have a little pullback. But on that note, little update, not much going on. That's all I have, nothing great, nothing spectacular. Just uh, thanks for watching the video. <laughs> and I don't know what else to talk about. I'm just gonna put random videos about random stuff uh, just to keep, keep myself busy. And uh, I'm gonna go outside and get some sun. You should do the same. All right.